Last month, Tim and I had the privilege of being invited to one of the most disruptive overclocking events of 2014. We flew out to Indonesia, Yogyakarta to be specific, to attend the AOCT. And AOCT is, stands for Amateur Overclocking Tournament. There were more than 100 Indonesian overclockers attending this event, so it was something we could not miss out on. We spent five days in Yogyakarta. The AOCT finals were held in a large trade and exhibition hall featuring prestigious sponsors such as Intel, plus motherboard vendors including ASUS, Gigabyte and MSI. Among the supporting partners were also brands such as Corsair, Deepcool, Dell, ID Cooling and Silicon Power. On the first day we witnessed the last local audition phase of the AOCT qualifiers. During these auditions, each overclocking team was asked to demonstrate basic computer building skills, having to pass a test that focused on rudimentary overclocking knowledge. On that specific audition day, 30 teams were auditioning. Eventually, only 13 were allowed to qualify and receive special training in preparation for the three-day competition that lay ahead. This year, the AOCT final brought a lineup of 40 top amateurs. For three days in teams of two, each had to pass through a so-called mobile challenge. Each mobile challenge day featured a different motherboard from a different vendor. This made it important for overclockers to build experience on all three models. First the MSI Z97 M Power, then the ASUS Maximus 7 Gene, and finally the Gigabyte Z97 M D3H. In terms of benchmarks, each day aimed at challenging a different skill set that included single and multi-threaded CPU tweaking, memory timings and efficiency, and even integrated graphics 3D benchmarking. The mobile challenge had it all, but again, only the best could continue to the next round. The five top teams from the mobile challenge earned their way to the AOCD finals alongside each top-ranked team of the previous three mobile challenges. The top four teams from the previous edition of the AOCT, held earlier in August, joined in as well to add even more spice to the grand finale. On the last day, a lineup of 12 teams competed with one simple target in mind to rule the competition and become AOCT 2014 champions. For the finals, each of the three mobile challenge platforms were used again, each accompanied by one select benchmark SuperPi32M for the MSI Empower, XTU for the ASUS Maximus 7 Gene, and Firestrike Extreme with the Gigabyte Z97M D3H. But as if this wasn't enough for a final stress test, the organizers added one more tweak to the rules. To ensure a fair challenge for both overclockers and each team, the benching would be done on a turn-by-turn -turn basis. This meant that both overclockers had not only to be experienced, but that the team chemistry and organization would also be challenged in order to succeed. Only a 10-minute break was allowed for the teams to briefly reunite to discuss the first period and then develop their strategy for the next 45 minutes. The scoring was quite tight and the two teams that best represent the new generation of Indonesian overclockers, OC-44 and no OC-44, battled away for the two top spots. T. Bellosi took a third runner-up step on the podium. The AOCT is a disruptive event in many ways. The scale of the competition is seldom seen anywhere else in the world. It features an innovative competition format using a ban list to restrict the competition to only true amateurs and next generation overclockers. This is a departure from most other competitions where hardware manufacturers seed overclockers in a system where only few select elites can afford to compete. Started as an initiative by Jagger Review in 2012, the AOCT event has grown into a tournament that now draws university-backed teams to the battleground. A success that is beyond the modest expectations of the organizers and one which confirms how strong the passion for competitive overclocking is in Indonesia. I want to reach out and say thanks to Jagger Review and Intel for introducing us to something that might as well be the future of competitive overclocking. Keep pushing it Indonesia and see you next year. Keep pushing!